What you doing there, bud? We look at it's old school, so <laughs> I have to tighten it with my hands. We want to make sure that we're set up nice and consistently. It's the tool of any good jump technique coach. Sponsored by Rigid, not sponsored by Rigid. So we are going to spend some time with my athlete Matt and take a look at where his jump is at right now. So this is a good little insight into the world of uh, jump technique and how to break down a jump. So pay attention and what I'll try to do is explain along the way what's happening, but we'll see it in real time. Good. So when I first got Matt, we had a full approach touch of, was it Matt was like, it was 10 feet, right? When you first started? Yeah, so, so Matt's a basketball player and came to me with about a 10 foot full approach. Wasn't able to utilize speed very efficiently, so we had a very good stationary jump, and but there was very little, little deviation. And we talked a little bit about that in the manual and in the video series as well, that if there's very little deviation between standing approach um, and full approach, then it's a speed and stability issue. So we've now developed a bit of an approach, but we're going to see if we can fine tune it a little bit more. The whole thing, yeah. We're going to go sideways in this as well, Matt. So really small control movements. Yeah, keep those knees close to the ground. Good. Nice and compact, small steps. Good. So we're using our beast walk, which is part of our drills as well, it, to uh, light up and engage and start to fire up some of those deep core tissues. Knees a little closer, Matt, there we go. And then we're gonna head back uh, to fire up some of those deep core tissues before jumping to make sure everything's nice and active and that abdomen is nice and braced. Plus the shoulders heat up as well. Right, we're pushing into that stride. We want to make sure that we're patterning that push, 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 push. Good, we'll just be nice and quick with that push and nice and quick with that block. So push block, push block, good. So we're using those 50%, those half jumps to start patterning and start warming up that nervous system. Find those neuromuscular connections. You'll notice that Matt always lands with solid mechanics, loading those hips. Add a little kick out. Let's get a nice few solid steps this time. There we go, better. Good, one more. Good, how do those legs feel? Good. Yeah, you feel healthy? Good. Let's start doing the same thing. Let's pattern out our approach just on the rubber. Let's do like a 75, 80% effort. So we're gonna do some partial efforts now. This is gonna be Matt starting to kind of pattern that full approach and before we get him onto the vertex. Yeah, good, relax, very nice. Very good. I'm just gonna get my phone. So we have that. So what we'll do is we'll have Matt start out with um, like an 85 to 90% effort so we get some confidence built and we'll just start picking away at the spindles on the Vertec. I have my phone with me, that coach's tool, and what I'll do is I'll be able to put up on the screen here as Matt goes through, through his jump, we'll break it down together and I'll give you kind of that first hand look at what I'm looking for. Those last three steps, because we were dialing the effort back, we almost slowed into them a little bit, right? So let, this time what we're going to do is let's dial up the intensity a bit, and we'll worry about accelerating through those last few strides. Okay, so error on the side of starting a little bit slower here, so we can accelerate through that. Okay, let me just get back here. All right, dude. 
It's quick. Oh. It's okay, go get Over it. <laughs> yeah, so we're a little bit crowded, right? So that's gonna give, that's a really good point to make to the camera. You'll see that Matt kind of blew through that takeoff. So that's that maximum control velocity we're talking about. So let's slow it down a little bit, okay? And then we'll worry about attacking those last couple strides. Go ahead, bud. That's quick. Better? How'd that feel? Good. Okay, so let's let's um, do a few jumps just in the final few steps. Okay, and then we'll add some pattern in here. So let's just worry about those last two strides. <clears throat> Too close. Go ahead, buddy. Good. Okay. Now let's go right into full approach. here is like watch see your shoulders right now yeah. okay the shoulders are very tense very up up top in the ear we need to relax that upper body as well so that we can focus on really accelerating through this hip so that's not bad I don't mind that position there we're nice and back and stacked over the hip we just need to be a little bit quicker here so we need to really think about push aggressive yeah. get that last foot down nice and quick yeah. big breath in on that second last step right and then when you jump, all that air comes out. We go tall. Okay? Yeah. So see it. Yeah. Go get it. There we go. So that was a better jump. You were just way crowded. Yeah. So you took off like here and you were reaching back. Yeah. Okay, let's do something really quick. So what I'm gonna do with Matt is we're having a difficult time with full extension at the top. So let's get that reaching arm. Let's strap it in. Let's open and open up that lat and that rib cage a little bit and we'll see if we can't gain a little bit of space through those intercostals. Wrap and grab. Yep, good. Walk it open and I want you to take a big breath in and as you exhale, you're gonna drop that arm over your ear and then slip that uh, hip away from you. Good, and breathe. We're gonna open that palm toward the camera. There we go. We're gonna open up through this lat a bit. Good, breathe, and rotate. There we go, good. If you have an athlete that is having a difficulty with, if you can see with your eye that there's not full extension at the top, sometimes some of these intercostal spaces can be bunged up a bit so we can gain some space as well through the lat and uh, posterior shoulder. Breathe in and exhale. Open that shoulder up a bit more. There we go. And let's close and relax. Cool. Let's take that. Let's go right through the jump. Okay, so this, this is the money maker area right here. Okay, this is the money maker. Pop, pop. Quick, quick, okay? See it? Yes, that was way better of an attack, but we were a bit over striding. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm trying to do a little sooner now. Yeah, yeah. So it was a bit of an overstride. Well, then I stopped right, right before I landed, or before I took off. Yeah. You feel that change in, in acceleration, right? Yeah. Do you feel like you're coming to almost a dead stop right yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. And that's it as well. So what what's happening is if we get if that penultimate drives a little bit too much into the heel, then what we'll do is we'll stop our momentum, right? There's a delicate balance between staying tall and back and then staying too far back. So let's take our torso a little bit more forward so that we can see we can carry a bit more of that speed, okay? So ball the foot nice and fast through that. You see how you're starting to add approach? Like you're like, I'm gonna go back further, I'm gonna go back further. Okay, we wanna make the common mistake of just saying that if we just go back further, what we want is to optimize the speed there. So don't worry about this stuff. A couple momentum steps and then really attack that. Okay. Oh, you were right there, bro. You were so right there. So now that we've got more aggressive, what we're happening is we're blowing through the takeoff a little bit more. So we need to slow that velocity of that approach down a bit. So let's let's start your range in this area here. And we'll just worry about one, two, three. Okay, so it's gonna be um, left, right, left. We're just gonna go boom, boom, boom. Okay, I want you to carry it through. Push, be fast off the ground. That's way better. You were right there. Did you not touch that? I thought I thought he touched it. It looked like he touched it. Okay. Matt played a basketball game yesterday and his hips, glutes are a little bit tight, so I'm noticing that through takeoff that we're getting this kind of dramatic slowing. And if it's not a result of position, then it could be a result of just some tissue restriction. So I'm going to uh, open up glute and low back a little bit and we'll see if that helps him on his next efforts. 
that being like the first dunk that you're ever gonna do. It's like right there. That if you go up and swipe that, it's the equivalent of you just ripping a rim off in the middle of the game and handing it to the other team. Okay. Did you touch it? Oh. I'm telling you, you're gonna touch it. Go get it again. It's, it looks like his hand's right there. Let's go. We're just gonna work that penultimate jab. Just gonna work sticking in, and I just want you to think about drive, push, inhale here, and exhale there, and drive into that. We'll hang back, and we're gonna look for that different angle here. Good. There we go. And what we're gonna look for here is that his shoulders don't end up too far back. There we go. We're nice and tall there, and we'll relax right here. Good. Good, but push, drive. There we go, that's better. Good, I want you to do 10 of those. Okay, so we did some penultimate jabs and some two-step approach. We gotta get those neuromuscular connections firing, and now Matt, just fucking hit it. Just go get it. Quick, quick, off the ground. What? That, that was by far the best jump regardless of what just happened there. I'm gonna measure it out. I think it might have slipped, might have slipped a little bit. Felt different, it yeah. looked way different. That's what I'm talking about, every once in a while things line up. You actually hit the one above it. You did it kind of seven. Six. So it did slip. By ten six. Yeah. Okay. We'll take an extra inch. We'll take an extra inch. That's a PR. There we go. Okay. That's all she wrote. Sometimes you have to think about getting the athlete to take a step back and not be so caught up with the past effort because they missed or they, they didn't achieve what they wanted to and then reattacking and attaching some success so we get doing some penultimate jabs into some two-step approaches and then it's just don't think about it hit your jump and then that neuromuscular patterning carries over and then we see we get uh, an inch gain within that uh, within that session so it doesn't happen all the time but we're doing well anyway guys hope that helped